Hey, how you doing? It's your boy Soul. Uh, we're gonna get right into it, and also got an important message at the end of this video too. Today we're gonna be doing random faces with uh, random shapes. So we're just gonna screw around a whole lot. You're welcome. Hey, uh, we're gonna get right to it right now, as I promise. So random shapes. Here we go. Let's get stupid with it. Okay, I got my shapes. So let's make faces. <laughs> that was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize to you. I sorry. Just, just, just keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Doing that kind of face. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, girl. Oh, like that. It's gonna make prominent lips, very prominent lips, juicy lips. Like, oh, girl, I know what he said. Mm -hmm. I know what he said. Mm -hmm. You know what she said though? Ooh. He said, "Spill the tea." Spill the tea. Says, "Spill the tea." Oh, beady eyes. You have no soul, beady eyes. No soul. No soul. Yes. <laughs> oh my, Puffy. Bouget. Trying to look down like that, like that. Oh my god, these faces are so fucking random. <laughs> and my last one, I think I'm just gonna make it more simple. Just the more, hmm. What's all this fuckery then? What's all this fuckery? What's going on? Oh, it's got a unibrow going on. <laughs> it kind of does have a unibrow going on. A little unibrow. Oh my god, look at that shit. <laughs> What is with this unibrow right now? What is what is this unibrow stuff? You know what I just kind of made? This is like the Muppet Spaces. <laughs> I kind of made like a pseudo the Muppet Spaces with this shit. Oh my god. I totally did. I made the Muppets. I totally did. Oh, Jesus Christ. Child, I'm telling you. That's the child. Let me tell you something. Kind of face. Look at all these mean faces. <laughs> they look so serious. 
And I got one with just like just a stupid cat thing going mm, like that. I think I made mostly furries. That wasn't intentional, but oh well. Furries it is. It's probably gonna be a short video, but that's okay. Sometimes having a shorty is alright too. No, it's a great exercise for like facial expressions as well. Because I do need to work on those a little more sometimes. And they're fun. They're just fun. Big little silly faces. It's not any character associated with any franchise or product. It's just just freedom. Just pure fun. I recommend you do that more, by the way. Just just have fun with it, man. But I'll tell you what, if you do want to see me do more just crazy crap like this, uh, you can go to my patreon.com slash soulstarsborn, which is right there at the top of the screen. I hope you see that. It's right there. I'm trying to point to it. I hope it I hope it shows. I hope it shows. I'm gonna be really pissed off if it doesn't show. I really will be. But I'll leave a link in the description and all that. You know. In case you don't know what Patreon is, for those that have no idea what the hell that is, it's a donation site. It's a tipping site. It's basically you go there and say, like, hey, I like this artist. Let me give him like let me give like one dollar. Let me give you no know I'll give you five dollars. How about that? How about that? And you know what? Go ahead. Give me five bucks or a dollar, whatever. And I got some tiers on there as well you might want to like, including uh, art commissions, which I really, really want to do. Hint, hint, wink, 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 wink. I'll stop. Yeah, check it out, yeah. Almost finished. Just uh, doing final touches right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want that. Yes, yes, all that. Okay, so here's some random faces. We got the hmm kind of guy. Got the I'm absolutely gorgeous type of face. Got the, I like to call it the man cat, so I don't know what he's doing. I don't know. I made that up. That was my favorite, my favorite face to make. Just a kind of face going on. Then we got this guy going, oh girl, mm -hmm. I'm spilling the tea, sis. Mm -hmm. That kind of face. We got the little, oh, this. That's, a, that's just a sweetie. Just a sweetie. And we got this more like, uh, I guess, semi, semi serious face going on here. <laughs> like a little snake or something. I don't know what this is. But yeah, that's uh, all my images for today. And I mentioned an important message at the end of this video, and I'm going to talk about it right now. So this week, unfortunately, we lost a very, very talented artist in Arthur. Uh, the author for the manga Berserk, Kentaro Miura, passed away this week at age 54. I have a personal stake in this one, sort of. It's, uh, I'm more a fan of his art, but dude, this guy was already having like health issues already as it was. And so, how he did this very famous manga, if you haven't heard of it, look it up. There's so many stories and articles about it, I don't have to even say anything. Just, just look it up yourself. Because Berserk is, uh, it's like an epic tale. It's been told since like the 80s up until right now. Until, you know, the author's unfortunate passing. And he's one of my inspirations, really. I mean, like one of my tops. Like, every time I saw his artwork, it inspired the hell out of me. Like, it made me feel like I want to be on that level. I want to I wanna find myself at that level. And there's times I do find myself at that level. And there's other times I don't. So it's not always consistent. It's like being an artist, I wouldn't say it's like being a doctor, but it sort of is in a way in terms of uh, practicing uh, the craft. You know what I'm saying? I'm practicing the craft all times. So when I see a legend like that pass on and not even get a chance to finish his work as is recording anyway, that, I mean, just as an artist alone, for me, that, that breaks my heart. It really does. And uh, I want to give... Special, uh, you know, just, uh, I don't know what you're going to call it. Just, I just need to, to tell 
I mean, they probably will never watch this, but the family for uh, Kentaro-san. Uh, I'm so sorry about your know, loss, and uh, you lost a great person. We, we lost one of the greats. We did. His his work inspired me so much. He's like one of my heroes. I didn't even realize how much of a hero he was for me, but he actually was. Because every time I see like any chapter he releases, I feel I feel driven. You know what I'm saying? I felt like like I'm not I'm not shit. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't feel like shit anymore. I feel like I could do it. He did it. Of course, he had a good thirty or so years ahead of time on me on this, but he still did it. He did it. He did the impossible. Granted, he didn't get a chance to officially finish. But you know what? It doesn't, doesn't even matter. He did his dream. He did the dream that he always wanted to do. I highly respect that. I want to be that. But one day I will. One day I will. Mark my words on that. And if I don't, well, maybe it just wasn't meant to be. But I'm not giving up. He didn't give up. I'm not giving up either. If that's how it's got to be. It's how it's got to be. We don't know how long we'll be on this world as proof of that. So, yeah. Sorry to put a downer on that, but hey. But uh, as I mentioned before, if you want to get any commissions from moi on my screen, once again, patreon.com slash soulstarsborn. Go there, look on my tiers. You'll see where I talk about commissions, okay? If you're very, very curious or if you're serious enough about it, Go there, please. I beg of you. Go there. Just go there. That being said, I'm going to let you have a great day and to go on and click on to the next video and just enjoy yourself on my channel. All right? Take care, guys. Soul Star out.